Okay, now let us talk about this story coming from the Mail Online. And clearly, someone at the Mail Online is in their feelings that this man got enough time to destroy the statue. Right? No, the story is by a Katie Fian. The date is the 12th of January, 2022. Let's get into this. Man scales BBC Broadcasting House and spends four hours destroying sculpture by pedophile artist Eric Gill. As police stand by doing next to nothing, days after BLM activists were cleared for toppling Colston statue. Right? No. Pay attention to the part where they are reporting that the police stand by doing next to nothing. So clearly they are in their feelings that the police did not move quickly enough because this man was destroying an emblem that, that represents Britain, right? That is what I'm getting from the story. Let us continue because what's going on here? Known pedophile Eric Gill's statue, Perse Perer and Ariel, stands in front of the BBC's broadcasting house in London. Gill's diaries published in the 1980s revealed he molested his two daughters and his dog during his lifetime. But you have a statue there that you are in your feelings that the police did not act quickly enough because this man was destroying a statue, right? The work of a man that you have proof and evidence that he molested his two daughters and his dog during his lifetime, right? And there is a problem because this man destroys the emblem that represents Britain. What else can I say? They are in their feelings because this statue represents Britain because Britain supports pedophile. What can I say? Let's move on. Campaigners of long call for the statue's removal from its prominent position. Listen to this. But the BBC have refused. That is very important. No, the BBC refused to remove a statue from a prominent position by the BBC Broadcasting House by a known pedophile. Let's go over that. The BBC have refused to remove a statue by a known pedophile, which it has been revealed that this man he molested his two daughters and his dog. And it says a whole lot about those who run and govern the BBC. So they support that this man is a pedophile. They support that this man have molested his daughter. They support that this man, right, molested his dog. That's why they don't want to remove the statue. Right? It clearly states here on the Mail Online, campaigners of long called for the statue's removal, but the BBC have refused. I'm not making this thing up. So that is telling you that the people who govern and run the BBC, they are in support, right, of this man that it has been revealed molested his daughters, his two daughters and his dog and the man is a known pedophile it is not a secret but you are giving this institution money right and this institution is letting you know that this statue is an emblem that represents britain right because that is what the BBC is telling the world that this emblem of molestation, this individual that molested his two daughters and his dog is what represents Britain. This is what Britain is all about. A island of people that molest their children and have sex with their dogs. 
right? Understand that by keeping this statue, they are cursing the land. They are cursing the people. And what they are looking to do is to strip the West of their inheritance, to strip the West of their powers. And they understand spirituality. They understand energy. And that is why they refuse to remove it. And that is why it is in such a prominent position. They know exactly what they are doing. Right? Could you see a statue like that on China's national broadcasting house? A man that is a known pedophile that molested his two daughters and his dog? Can you see that on China's major broadcasting house? Can you see that on Russia Today's broadcasting house, a statue by a known pedophile and someone that molested his two daughters and his dog. Can you see that on Russia's Today major um, broadcasting house? Can you see that on any Arab's major broadcasting house, any of those Arab countries? Right, Al Jazeera, can you see a statue like that on their broadcasting house? So why is it on the BBC broadcasting house? What is going on? I tell you exactly what is going on. They are looking to curse the land. They are looking to curse your children. They understand spirituality. They understand energy. And they are stripping you of it right that is what they are doing that is why the statue is in such a prominent position and that is why people are in their feelings because this man made a public this man made a public demonstration of defiance that is why everyone is so upset right he went up there and he smashed the statue because not all of us is brain dead not all of us took the demon juice right and some of us refuse to be stripped of what we worked hard for right you're not going to strip us of our wealth of our spirituality of our god and of our morals and some of us are not willing to let that go Right, because they are looking to bring in a new power, and in order to do that, you have got to get the people to go against the grain, everything that is unnatural and unclean. You've got to get the people in line to do that. Right now, I'm not ready to use a hole in the ground for a toilet, I'm not ready to be sleeping in a cave. I am not handing over my inheritance. I am not handing over my spirituality. I am not handing over what I work hard for so that China can inherit it. And if you people in the West sit aside and allow these people to strip you of your birthright, to strip you of your spirituality, to curse your lands, understand what the consequences are these people are clever but they never expected that this man is going to be so defiant he did not drink the kool-aid he did not take the nephilim seed he did not take the demon juice this man is defiant and he's having none of it Britain don't represent pedophile. It's not a pedophile haven. Even though the BBC and those that govern it put in that curse, put in that mark on the people and on the country. That is what they just did. Understand the time and season we are in. As I say, we need to pray. Glory be to the Most High.